hello guys in this video we are going to see how to create a video call app in flutter in order to do so i will be using one amazing sdk that is zigo cloud for your knowledge let me tell you that zio cloud is a global communication service provider which provides the developer friendly and powerful sdk as well as apis in order to build many communication features on your app such as video call video conference chat live streaming and so on so they are focusing on developer friendly code so they also call it uh, no code so you can simply make your apps very quickly and easily so you can take a look over here if you want to add a video call to your website just the code is less than 10 lines so you can see the code example over here as well so same way if you want to go through the snippet of any of the language you can just go through over here the links are there sample apps so this SDK basically provide you so many solutions let me just go to pricing and show you the pricing over here so just scroll here so the pricings are very transparent and you can take a look here they provide these services such as voice call video call live streaming in-app chat AI effects as well super board room kit avatars cloud recording as well and you can explore more as well so one more thing if you don't want to jump into an implement you can just go here into ui kits and here scroll down and you can see you can test a live video call so you can enter your information and test how it works let's go back to the pricing so uh, one more thing whenever you sign up over here you will be getting free 10,000 minutes for the same and you can test your app and test different type of apps so they have already mentioned over there let me first register over here and show you how we can register it and log in into this so you need to fill the information select your country i'm currently in india enter your email after filling the email you need to click on get code this is gonna send a verification code on your email and you have to click on the square so let's find it over here and where it is here it is next and where it is here it is verify and just check your inbox and enter the code over there so i will be entering the code now you can have your password so let me keep one password and you have to agree this and if you want this product updates you can select this one as well so let's go for the trial so once it is done it will be asking for company name if you want you can fill it otherwise you can just you cannot skip it actually so you just enter some information let's keep it something engineering industry it and you have to add your phone number as well let's add it quickly and just continue and you can see you are getting 10,000 minutes over here that is free in a trial account so just go to dashboard and this is how your dashboard will look like okay so now next step is we will be creating a project and integrating the co cloud ui kit with our flutter app so let's create one project over here first so select what kind of app you want to use so i will be simply going without voice and video call and you can choose any of these templates so i just go next and you can specify project name so what i will say i will just keep this name so you can keep any name 
and if you scroll down you can see there are two ways to get started the either you can use ui kit or you can use the sdk okay so we will be going with the simple one let's go with the ui kit so it will take some time to create the application let's wait for the same okay so just either you can click on the start building your app or it would be redirector by default after a couple of seconds so here we will go for flutter and just go for make sure so we are going with one to one call so just save and start integration okay so now here is your detail your app id your app sign this information is required so let's simply go for the console and you can also retrieve that information over there okay so once you go to console you will be able to see your created project just go here and here you can get all the information required so let's jump to vs code and create project for the same okay so let's create a new project over here application and select the folder and you have to specify the name so now name should vary from this don't worry it is not required to have same name let's go here and specify this name and we will add flutter along with this so let's create it So meanwhile, the app is created. Let's go here and move to this link that is UI kits. So this UI kits is basically a lot of kits they have provided in order to make your app quicker and easier. So they provide 20 plus UI kits, which are open source having 50 plus components and supported cross platform. So ready to use, easy to customize. So all these features are there. So let's scroll down here and you can see the source code is also given for different different languages so let's go here for the flutter and you can see the example is given over here with step by step guide so scroll down and here what you need to do you need to add this first of all dependency so i will copy this go to this and in terminal i will add this command so meanwhile it is adding the dependencies so what i will do let's create a new folder over here in order to keep pages and let's create one home page home underscore page dot dot and here we will be creating the stateless widget okay so let's give it home page okay and instead of doing this we will be returning scaffold and let's remove this const and inside this scaffold you need to add app bar if you want so i want one app bar let's add the app bar and so we need to add some title over here let's add const text video call app and i'll just make it center title to pro and this part is done so after app bar i need to add the body part so let's add a save area whose child would be center widget whose child and just comma whose child would be let's say column or if you need a button only you can simply add an elevated button and just on press we just keep empty for the time being 
and the second is chart let's add const text with the say start code okay let's quickly add one comma here and here we will write the code okay so let's go back to main and remove this comments find remove and just remove this as well you don't need anything and here you can replace this with home page just add com and here you can also write video call oops, app and one more thing we can write this debug banner we can make it false save this okay so i think dependencies are installed now so what now we need to do let's go back here and they're saying what we need to import this so we'll import this and in order to make the code we need to write this code okay so what we do we just copy the whole code and create a new page call underscore page dot dot and you can paste this code over here so what else you need to do go back and you can just use this import over there and if your dependency is added you will not be able to see this error so let's uh, import this material as well okay so all well so here we are getting error uh, we don't need to do this let's remove this line because it is by default added and now we need to add these information so just you can go to console you can see the app id is over here copy it from here paste it over there and the second is app sign go back and you have your app sign over here so click on this i you can see the app sign and you can copy this once copied you can hide it as well go back and this should be enclosed in single quote or double quote as it is expecting a string yep next is user id so this is basically the user id of the user so this can be either created logically or whatever way you want you can create it so for this example we are just keeping it static so let's say user one and the username we will say u one let's say u one okay and the next is caller id so which is coming from the constructor so whenever we will call this page we need to pass the call id so i will let you know what it is so this portion is done let's do rest of the things first let's go back go back to the step by step guide now you need to do what configure your project so you need to change your compile sdk version to 33 so where it is it is android app build.grid go here android app build.grid and just find for compile sdk version so mention it what is the version 33 correct and there is a one more thing min sdk version so min sdk version should be 21 okay just save this and in case you want to remove this error as well here it is so you can replace this gradle exception with file not found exception yes save this this part is done let's move next then we need to add permissions so copy this you need to add it under source main manifest go here into source main and android manifest so here you need to add it before or just after the application tag inside the manifest save this you can close it go back here and what's next so they have mentioned where we can keep this okay then we need to do what 
we need to just create this file okay copy this file name go here so it should be under android app go back under android app we have to create a new file with this name and what should be the content it should have this content copy this go here paste it save it close it go back next we need to do what you need to add this line of code so where do you need to write this code go to your project android build dot greater so inside your release just go here app uh, build dot greater and search for release so here it is after this release paste this and save this done this go back and that is all for android if you want to go ahead with ios you can follow the instructions mentioned over here okay so that's all for this side let's go back and okay so this is done just save this and we will go here into main from where we are calling this home page and from home page we need to do what we need to navigate to call page let's do what navigator dot push and you need to pass material page route let's use material page route and you need to pass the builder function so let me just use this and here you can pass that const call page and whenever you use this you need to pass this call id now this call id is what so this call id if you take a look over here it is not available on your console so it can be generated by yourself or it can be generated by any logic so it is just a what it is just a string okay so it is expecting string this caller id is used in order to connect two or more persons so now we are doing one-to-one -one calling if you take a look over here we are using one-to-one -one video call so two users whosoever are connecting with each other they should have the same call id otherwise they will not be able to connect so let's give it a caller id user one user two like this u1 u2 okay so for both side this color id should be same so whenever you develop any application you have to maintain the logic to maintain this color id so that is all let's try to run this letter run and before running this command make sure your device is connected and let's wait for this and i have connected it with uh, some casting software that is this air droid so i will add the link in the description if you want to use that so let's wait for this to execute okay so if you can see we are facing some problem over here this is due to my adb on my machine so i tried installing different softwares in order to cast screen so the different softwares use different adb versions so that is what the conflict is let's try to launch this app and check yep it worked so it worked this error will not be showing on your machine so i just tried with the different casting software that are using different different adb version that is causing conflict over here so i will check this later on and the app is working fine so what i need to do i just uh, remove this data cable and i will use another device in order to do video call so i'm connecting the second device so let me just uh, change what i just change it to user 2 and user 2 and just save it now i will run it again on my second device let's run it on second device and wait let me connect second device 
with casting as well so install it okay so app has been installed let's launch this okay so now it is working on both sides so i don't need any data cable let's remove this i hope you can see the screens so let's start with the previous device start the call it is asking for permission for recording the video so let's use while using the app same for this mic if using the app and you can see my video over here same we will do with the second device while using the app while using the app and let me just uh, keep yeah, it here yeah. and you can see this picture so i just muted on mobile phones you can see on the bottom right side there is a name here this is u2 and this is u1 that is user1 and user2 okay so this also give you a lot of options like you can turn off your camera if you want same way you can just do like this and you can switch your camera and you can end your call you can mute and unmute now i just unmuted you can listen my voice and this is for loudspeaker as well so just okay so that is all you can see it is very easy i just end the call and once i end the call you can see both side call has been ended and you are automatically moved to your home page okay so that is all for this video now i will add the link of all these ui kits pricing and this example as well in the description along with this i will be pushing my code to the github and the link i will be adding in the description so that is all for this video if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section otherwise like share and subscribe thank you